Hello. Behind me is my box parterre, which I've just finished pruning. Now that's at least an hour long task, so I'm just going to share with you the edited highlights. And at the same time, give you some hints and tips on how to plan, plant and maintain a box parterre. And if you do like what you're about to see, please do like and share and subscribe and hit the notifications bell and comment because I always love to hear from you. And I planted my parterre about 12 years ago. And the plant I used is Buxus sempervirens. Buxus sempervirens is a relatively quick growing form of box tree. And there are different varieties of Buxus and some of them are slower growing. So if you've got time and patience, you could use a different variety. And if you are planning a new parterre, please be aware of a couple of challenges which Buxus are facing at the moment. There's a disease called box blight, which is spreading across the UK, and they are also suffering from box tree caterpillar. And if you get box blight or box tree caterpillar, it's quite damaging to the hedges and it's difficult to eradicate. So whilst Buxus has always been the plant of choice, for parterres and potages, at this moment in time it might be worth considering an alternative. And the RHS has produced some research into the alternatives for Buxus. If you want to create a small hedge which can be trimmed, and so I'll post a link to that research in the description below this video. When you're planning your parterre, Play around with different alternatives on a piece of paper. And be aware that they do take up more space than you probably think. So measure your plot carefully. Then choose your plant. And have a look on the internet. It's an amazing resource. Just Google Buxus Sempervirens or Box Parterres and you'll be faced with dozens of different images which will give you inspiration. You may decide to do a knot garden, which is where one hedge seems to go over another, like two pieces of rope forming a knot. And I do have an endless knot garden, and you can watch my recent vlog on that subject. Now, when I planted this parterre, I laid out weed fabric. I drew the design on the weed fabric. Then I cut crosses, which formed holes, which I planted through. And that's a great idea if you want to suppress weeds. However, weed fabric isn't particularly aesthetic. So I covered my weed fabric in wood chips. Try to resist the temptation to plant the box trees too close together. It's tempting to think that by putting them closer together, you'll get a quicker result and an immediate effect. But in my opinion, that's counterproductive because if you put newly planted box trees too close together, they end up competing for nutrients. Nine to 12 inches apart is easily close enough. And you'll be amazed how quickly they knit together into a hedge. And like so many things in the garden, it's a lesson in patience see it as a journey not a destination and enjoy the process and i trim my hedge once a year mid to late june and many people advocate trimming it twice a year if you want a thicker denser more defined hedge but i go for once a year for a couple of reasons number one it saves me a lot of time because i have a lot of box and if i had to trim it twice it would take me twice as long but secondly I'm not sure that I want a very densely clipped hedge because I like it to be slightly looser because I think it's good for the plants to have air circulating in and amongst. It can help to avoid things like mildew. And even though it's not densely clipped, you still get the effect, as you can see here. Now, Buxus do put on a lot of growth in the spring and they are still relatively close together so it's important to feed them. 
and I just use a simple tomato food during the summer months but I also top dress them and in the same sense that you can use seaweed as a top dress and as a plant food I use excess pondweed from my formal fish pond as you will see in my vlog how to mulch and as you can see I'm using a relatively cheap set of electric hedge trimmers so don't forget if you're using electrical devices in the garden make sure you take the necessary safety precautions and always plug them into a circuit breaker no doubt if I was a purist and a professional hedge trimmer I would be using a very expensive pair of shears and doing it by hand but I'm not and I'm very happy with the results from the electric clippers I think these were only about £25 from B&Q Vox is very forgiving so don't be afraid of over trimming it because it will grow back from hard wood and as you can see when I'm trimming this parterre on the sides I trim in an upward smooth motion and on the horizontal surfaces I bend from the waist to get a lovely smooth level arch and I hold the trimmers rigidly horizontal to the ground and I go backwards and forwards several times to achieve the cut that I want many areas of my garden are really quite wilded I let nature take over deliberately but the box trees and the box parterre is my opportunity to exercise some control it's a small part of my garden where I really am the boss and happily I see this parterre every morning when I come down to make my cup of tea because it's right outside the kitchen window and it looks great all year round throughout the seasons and it brings great structure and interest to the garden and because of the design it's got that sense of adventure because you can walk through it my nephews and nieces see it as a bit of a maze until recently I had my standard olive trees in this parterre to give it some height but I've moved them to another part of the garden and I do intend replacing them in each of the four corners with some lovely white bush roses and I'll be doing a vlog on that very soon so there we have it my box parterre I hope you've enjoyed that if you have enjoyed it as I've already requested please do like subscribe share and hit the notifications bell and also i love to hear from you so please do comment below and i'll see you soon